Ventilation grills remove heat, so they cost you money too. You cover the grill thinking you'll save some money, unfortunately you're wrong. Not only is this method dangerous to your health, it's still not solving the problem. Houses in southern Poland, as with most buildings equipped with natural ventilation, work on the basis of the natural convection of air. The functioning of natural ventilation is based on simple principles. Air, coming into the building through the air intake sets, moves around and is exhausted through ventilation grills. These are usually mounted in the kitchen and bathroom. Unfortunately, natural ventilation does not always work well. Sometimes it is insufficient, while at other times its effects are too powerful. That's why the covering of ventilation grills is so common, because people assume that it will prevent the building from cooling down. Although this method is quite effective, it is also dangerous at the same time and does not solve the problems of ventilation at all. Why not then find a compromise between saving energy and achieving proper ventilation? Stabilizator wentylacji jest przeznaczony do montażu w poziomej części kanału wentylacyjnego. W tym miejscu mamy wlot powietrza, w tym miejscu mamy wylot powietrza. Powietrze przepływa szczeliną pomiędzy przepustnicą i przesłoną pod wpływem podciśnienia zwanego ciągiem kominowym. Nadmierne podciśnienie chce wyssać większą ilość powietrza i jednocześnie powoduje wychylenie się przepustnicy. Szczelina zmniejsza się. Wielkość szczeliny względem zmieniającego się podciśnienia została tak dobrana, aby zachować przepływ na stałym poziomie. Zostało to osiągnięte przez odpowiednie wyważenie przepustnicy oraz odpowiedni kształt przesłony. The mounting of the device is easy and does not require any special skills or tools. Usually this task should take no more than just a few minutes. First, detach the stabler's mounting frame. Next, fasten the frame using scotch tape, for example. It is good to position the screws in order to prevent the mounting foam from getting in the holes. Next, spray the mounting foam through the holes placed on the sides. Leave sufficient time for the foam to harden. Now, remove the scotch tape and any excess mounting foam. Now, place the stabilizer in the mounting frame. Finally, replace the ventilation grill. Such a draft stabilizer limits the airflow in a ventilation duct to, in this case, 70 cubic meters per hour. So, to the amount that is precisely stated as being the proper norm. This value assures both a healthy and a comfortable environment while simultaneously minimalizing heat loss. This device does not require routine maintenance, it is silent and will function effectively for many years. It is important to remember that proper stabilizers should be mounted in all exhaust ventilation ducts throughout the building.